do you use compressed air in this time? Well. Yeah. Well. Like how do you how do you use compressed air? So like your your silos, your aggregate bins. Yeah, yeah, we compressed air. We use silos, aggregate bins, like you said. Um, uh, the aggregate doors is the main thing on the side over there. Yeah. Um, we do use a very small amount of uh, pneumatic tools. Yeah. So uh, where have you installed it spell? Where? Yeah, where? Um, just where I've been told really. <laughs> okay, so before your point of view, so before... Um, um, yeah, just before every um, valve, every solenoid. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. In the past, we maybe started putting them just after the compressor, but now I've had advice from yourself. Yeah. Now we know where to put them to get yeah. the best efficiency on them. Yeah, so what problems were you having with the solenoid? Like, uh, well, just sticking, uh, freezer. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is that all, now we've got um, the new drain for the uh, cylinders. Yeah. We don't have to have anybody uh, coming in and opening valves and taps. So it takes, it makes it more safer and yeah. it makes the, everything. Usually we don't believe in it because it's new. Yeah. Until you give us one free of charge to try and yeah. it didn't work, we didn't like it to back. Yeah. But it's a good system. You've been happy with the result? Yeah, yeah. 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 Would you recommend it to any other breeding types? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, we have actually spoke to the people about it, and other people just want to see it, the demo. Yeah, excellent. And do you think it's helped you towards like, your like energy consumption goals? So has it reduced? any sort of like like if you have a refrigerant dry obviously that's very energy consuming do you think expel is a better alternative i would have said yes because it's electric, electric yeah you know the electric comes in the compressor the compressor is used then it's just there yeah and so easy to repair or clean if you need to yeah see can you just tell us as well uh with like some sites don't have refrigerant dryers how have you found that expel work there, have they managed to do a better job than when you've had refrigerant dryers or have you found that you've not always needed refrigerant dryers and just need the expel? Um, I would imagine the answer to that one is that all of our plants, concrete plants are very old yeah. and some of them don't work. So yeah. now we've got this system on, yeah. it's made it a, a damn lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A damn better. And like, like common problems that you like were facing? like. Well, sick in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <coughs> we've noticed a big difference in that as well. Yeah. Um, you're still going to get some of the problems, you know, with valves and rams, yeah. but um, the water and the dirt out has made a big difference. So then, having the expel there, what kind of uh, difference have you noticed before the silos? Is it helping? Well, we've had no complaints. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's <laughs> it. <laughs>